Hi there, welcome to my views and news. What is the value of burr in the parallel market, black market? Is it rising? Is burr getting stronger or weaker in the black market? And what did the Ethiopian PM Abi say about black market? And what he said, does it make sense or not? Secondly, Turkish of Foreign Minister Pakan Fedan is due to arrive in Ethiopia on Saturday. What is the agenda of this high level visit? It is coming uh, just when Turkey is about to deploy its naval forces to Somalia's territorial waters. Will Hakan Fedan visit Somalia to? Is this visit linked to Ethiopia Somalia dispute or not? Uh, let's start with the first new story, which is about the value of burr. Burr is in free fall mode, it seems. Private banks are in the race to uh, publish exchange rates and they are raising the buying price of burr, selling price of uh, burr as well. Dollar, you can say indirectly. Basically, they are raising the value of dollar. Birds' uh, value is going down. Dashan Bank today uh, updated to foreign exchange rates, and this bank is now buying birds uh, and selling uh, dollars. One dollar is being sold by Darshan Bank for 99 birds. It is being bought by the same bank for 90 birds. So, Darshan Bank's exchange rate was the highest exchange rate in terms of value of dollar against burr today. The Commercial Bank of Ethiopia announced uh, exchange rates to commercial CB's uh, bird to dollar exchange rate is around 85. The Ashen Bank 99. 99 selling dollar. The Ashen Bank selling dollar for 99 bird. Commercial Bank of Ethiopia for around 85, 86. There is huge difference in the foreign exchange rates being uh, published by commercial and commercial Bank of Ethiopia and private banks. What is happening? How will the stability come if uh, the price of burr against dollar? Keeps on fluctuating. And what is the situation in black market? Well, in black market rose a little today in support of dollar against burr. Burr, burr weakened a little more in black market today. Now we are daily monitoring the black market. The value of one dollar uh, against uh, burr is now one hundred twenty six in the black market. It was less than 120 when the government announced macroeconomic reform. It induced floating foreign exchange rates. Now the bird is floating, uh, floating up, not floating down. And uh, by up mean that it is losing its value. In black market, the same trend we are seeing that burr is losing more value. Dollar is getting stronger. What did the Ethiopian PM say about black market? Uh, well, I don't know what he said should have been said or not. He said there, there are two markets. One is obviously black market, other is parallel official market. One in one market value of burr was 50, in the other it was 100. So the government just unified the two markets. Government did not devalue burr, rather, it unified the two markets. So 
indirectly, firstly, uh, he said that this devaluation of burr has been decided to put an end to black market. But black market see, is seeing more decline, decline in the value of burr. It is touching 126, 127 now. What will the open market do? If the value of burr uh, goes down, goes further down in black market, how will the government uh, unify the two markets? This, I think, economic matter should be explained by economists, by list of economy, PMRB, mixed blunders. Uh, first, secondly, uh, in a way, he admitted that uh, black market existed and his government could not control the black market. Question is, uh, why did this black market come into existence? Black markets uh, operate across the world. But why is that Burr lost so much value in black market? Isn't the government responsible? In the end, government is responsible. Don't take responsibility. He just said that government is making the right moves. It is unifying the two markets. Uh, some people disagree with this strategy of unifying two markets. They say black market can never be uh, made uh, irrelevant. It will always exist. In black market, uh, sellers are now withholding their dollars. They're not selling. They're waiting for the official uh, bird dollar exchange rate, bird rate to settle. So they're waiting for that. Business community waiting. They're not making big decisions. They want to see where the bird settles. It's an uh, overall. It's an economic uncertainty. How long will it take for things to stabilize? Th that remains to be seen. Secondly, words, the Turkish uh, foreign minister is due to arrive in Ethiopia on Saturday. Hakan Fedan will visit Addis Ababa. He'll meet with Taz Keselasi, Ethiopian foreign minister, and then he'll have a, he'll hold a meeting with Ethiopian PMRB too. What is the agenda of his visit? Is it linked to Ethiopia-Somalia dispute over controversial? Ethiopia Somali Land Memorandum of Understanding signed in January this year. Well, so far, no official word from Turkish government, from Ethiopian governments. Only official word is that he is visiting Ethiopia. The visit seems to be linked to Ethiopia Somali attentions. The two sides, Ethiopia Somalia, met in July. Uh, in Ankara, the two sides could not reach any agreement, but Turkey. Uh, succeeded in bringing the two parties to the table. They agreed to meet again in September, but after that we saw some uh, strong statements by the two parties against each other. So, will they meet again in September? That remains to be seen. After that, we saw that Turkey announced to deploy its navy in Somalia's territorial waters. Somali land issued a statement rejecting the deployment of Turkish navy, uh, likely deployed Turkish navy in Somali lands of waters. Ethiopia obviously would not accept the deployment of the Turkish Navy in Somali lands of waters. Because Somali land is now Ethiopian ally. So, uh, Hakan Fedan's uh, visit is definitely linked to Ethiopia Somali attention. Will he visit Somalia too? Uh, not clear because the Turkish foreign ministry only mentioned Ethiopia that uh, Hakan will visit Ethiopia. We'll see. Uh, we'll try to get information, uh, then update you tomorrow. Uh, I think before September meeting, uh, Turkey wants to ensure that Ethiopia and Somalia agree to meet. Again, they don't cut off uh, channels of communication. And Turkey wants to deploy its navy in Somalia very smoothly. It does not want Somali land Ethiopia to turn against uh, Turkey. Obviously, it will have to give some assurances to Ethiopia. Uh, that is why I think Hakan Fidan is due to arrive in Ethiopia. Turkey has been uh, a partner of Ethiopia Bimabi 
Ethiopia bought Turkish TB2 drone during Tigray war. The drones helped Ethiopian government in pushing Tigray fighters back into Tigray. So Turkey was a close military partner of Ethiopian government like the UAE. But now things are changing. Turkey is seeing more interests uh, to protect in Somalia where it is going to start uh, exploring for oil and gas in September because Somalia signed a defense deal with Turkey in February to get its forces trained by Turkey in return for giving uh, Turkey a share in Somalia's underwater resources. So Somalia matters more for Turkey now. Turkey has a huge military base there too, but Turkey does not want to lose Ethiopia as well. Let's see how Turkey will manage to walk this fine line uh, between Ethiopia and Somalia. Thank you for watching.